All right, Gina Marie, this video was for you. Um, I'm going to tell you about the time when there were multiple people that seen these UFOs. Um, for those out there that don't believe that UFOs exist, you're dead wrong. This was 2012. And it was New Year's Eve. Um, I mean, the weather wasn't even bad out. It was probably mid-60s. And it was almost time for the ball to drop. Everybody went outside. Everybody in the neighborhood was outside. And for those that don't know, they do um, shoot firearms for New Year's in certain neighborhoods. There were a lot of gunshots going off. Fireworks going off. I want to say not even a minute after um, the ball dropped. And a lot of people was confusing these with Chinese lanterns. And I was like, no, no. Everybody was like, no. First of all, Chinese lanterns, when you light them, they go up. The wind takes them. Six orangish, reddish lights came out of the sky one at a time. One come down, the other one come down, and they was doing this. And then they come down and they slow down. They got smoother um, descending. And they all stopped in diamond formations. One here, one here, one here. And it was six of them. So you had your diamond here. Then you had your diamond here. Now, once again, I told y'all they came from multiple directions. And they went into the diamond shape. After they was in the diamond pyramid shape, they shifted around. They stopped like that. Then they moved about. They went in. They backed up. They went up. They dropped back down. Then the other one shot one way. This one shot that way. And they all went different directions. But they went off at lightning speed. As fast as you could blink like that. You see them take off just like that. So they weren't Chinese lanterns. Um, the crazy thing is, is that um, out of all the people that were out watching these things move in the sky, everybody was just like, wow, what is that? What do you think it was? Well, some of us knew what it was. I knew what it was. And still, with that proof, nobody to this day will admit to extraterrestrial intelligence that it exists when we all know and sad thing is is nobody has a camera on hand right when it happens or if you do you just caught it like i told you i caught that um image of that extraterrestrial being in that window that was real um the the bluish purple um suit but these crafts that came out of the sky is what they were. They were alien crafts, y'all. They came from different directions and formed diamond pyramids, and they did their little show, and what they were doing was observing all the people shooting guns off in the community. That's what they were doing. It was the gunshots that drew them out. Like I said, not even after a minute after the ball dropped, the guns is going off, fireworks, whatever. But you could tell this. You could tell the difference between guns and fireworks. The sound. Um, but these things came immediately when these gunshots went off, and they were watching, hovering over the city like this. And people was just stuck. Like, wow, what could what what could that? Like, wow. But I knew. But it was just like, wow, really. And at that moment, I will say that I actually thought that that would have been the day that we were actually going to get some kind of invasion. That's exactly what it looked like. It looked like some kind of invasion. And and you couldn't deny what you seen. And then 
they took off. Now, whether it be our government testing these things out, showing up at lightning speed, and they're taking off at lightning speed with their technology, but we know what we saw. So I just thought I'd share that with you. Hey, this video is for you, Gina. Um, a lot of people out there are not aware of the, the clouds that are up in the sky. There is a percentage of them that are not clouds. They are ships, okay? We could use the word cloak so a lot of people can understand that they're actually hidden right before your eyes, disguised as clouds, but they're not clouds. You could tell by the texture of them, the shapes, the length of them. Some of them are as long as football fields and just the stupidest don't fit the picture shape clouds up in the sky. You can even look at the ones that don't even dissipate. They don't even spread apart and the ones spread apart and they turn into something else. Okay. The ones that don't change shape, none of that, y'all. Most of those are your ships. Right before you observing the human race like they have been doing for years. So a lot of y'all are wanting to know does extraterrestrial intelligence exist? Of course it exists. You don't need nobody to answer that for you. Um, and Gina, the people don't need to um, be still sitting here asking dumb questions when they already got the answer to it. Like you and I, we both know that extraterrestrial exists because we are using their technology. Once again, I say that we are using their technology you people learn that, well, they've watched it in Star Trek and in Star Wars, but they thought it was just a TV show and a movie. Um, they were showing you then as sneakily as they could. Um, Gene, and another thing people don't understand is that um, a, lot of, a lot of them have been confronted by extraterrestrial beings and just didn't even know and thought they were regular people. Um, those people that walk around with no emotion, don't blink, don't sweat, no care, not a care in the world. Y'all, those are extraterrestrials disguised as uh, human beings, shapeshifters. Um, you know, the sad thing about extraterrestrials, they got the technology to erase your memory. You cannot remember your dreams. A lot of people don't even remember their dreams. A lot of people wake up with scars on their body and a lot of people... Mix that up and confuse that with um, demons and whatever else they want to call them, y'all. Extraterrestrial beings play a huge role in the things that go on while you sleep. And they do things to you. Just know they can do things to you. Little markings on the body. Those are chip, little chips. Microscopic chips in the body to track you everywhere about. And you think it's just some scar. You've been picking at some scab or some scar that's been on your body for a long time and that's exactly what it is. You get these tingles, these these little um, sharp tingly things that flow through your arm and wonder why your arm tingling. That's them just playing with um, the human race, uh, which we are and happen to be extraterrestrial as well, but just a different breed of extraterrestrial that have lost our ability to do things like other extraterrestrial beings because we have been dumbed down. Um, and we don't use our common sense no more either. So extraterrestrial beings can tap into your dreams, alter your dreams. They can try to keep you in your dreams, which is known as a coma. And some people are kept in a coma, but there are some strong... Um, people out here spiritually. Some of us are strong and some of us just aren't ready. A lot of people that you see that come back um, from from a lot of health injuries and or just waking up from a sleep and they're not fully here. They call some people a uh, mentally challenged child or a kid or they're slow or that man is dumb. He don't pick up on. That's because part of him is here and part of him is not here. That's another video, but I just want you to know 
that I'm riding with you, uh, I'm right with you with the extraterrestrial and that they are here, they've been here walking amongst us. That's the scary part, y'all. They look just like us. This video is for you, Gina. Stay blessed. What's good, everybody? You can help uh, donate to your boy Trey 57s channel. It'll uh, make it to where I could get to some different locations to get y'all some good content like I've been trying to do. Um, if you sending me something through Cash App, this is what you do. It's Money Symbol, capital L, 318, capital T, R, E. That's Money Symbol, L, 318, T-R-E. That's my cash app. Appreciate y'all and love y'all. Stay blessed.